Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this squad builder with me, Boy FIFA One HD, where we're going to be building one hell of a team, all focused around end of era Totti. So we need a team that's solid, that's going to get the most out of him, and this team that I have built and I'm about to show you really delivers that. It's really good for defending, but also great for counter-attacking and getting the most out of him. It allows him to score so many good goals and also keeps his stamina high which is also really, really important. So before we kick off, if you do enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button. And also, if you have any suggestions, maybe I could have used someone else, maybe if you used a similar team, let me know in the comments below any suggestions for improvements. And if you've used uh, End of Era Tati, what you guys think about him, I'd love to hear what you guys think. So, we're going to kick off in goal, and we're going to move this over to uh, the Cal COA. And uh, a pretty much a staple of my goalkeepers in this league has been Hantanovic all year. This basic 87 rated goal card has been phenomenal and I have not seen the need to improve on it because he makes absolute worldy save after worldy save. He's big, he gets across the goal well and he's really never let me down. And for the price, I think you were getting one hell of a good goalkeeper. 87 rated, he is very, very good and ticks the boxes for me very nicely indeed. At right back, we're going to put in Danny Alves. I like Alves and the, the left back that I'm going to put in in a minute because they really get forward well. And in a team that doesn't have any wingers, you do need some fast full backs who are both good in defence but also good going forward. And that is exactly what Alves does. He is very, very quick. He's got great dribbling skills, so he is able to really interlink well with that central midfielder just in front of him and the striker. And, and the and amount of time where he really has got to the byline, swung some great crosses in and really joined in in the attack is always very good. And he's obviously very good in defensive situations, as are the two centre-backs that I'm about to put in. Now, maybe an interesting choice, but I am going to put in uh, Man of the Match Kudabali. And also, team of the season, Fazio. We're going to start off with uh, Koulibaly now first. This card is absolutely incredible. He is so strong. He is so quick. There are a few other versions that are better than this. He's got a few in forms and stuff. And uh, a team of the season. Now, obviously, if you want to go out for those, you know, they're very good cards as well. But this one, for me, does the job. It's quite cheap and it is really reliable. I don't see the need to spend that extra money, if I'm being honest. I think there are better players you can be buying and using that coins wisely because this guy delivers time and time again. He's so physical. He is like a brick wall in front of uh, your goalkeeper and very, very difficult to get round. Also good at corners, both defending and attacking, as is Fazio, who has actually scored me a number of goals from corners. Uh, he times his headers very, very well, and he really gets a good connection on them. So very, very good. Now, a lot of people will like the look of this card, you know, 88 rated, good league, good nation, you know, 90 defense, 88 physicality. It all looks good, but the 40 pace is what will put so many people off and I can understand that you know we all like a quick center back but with the pace that's already in this defensive line the way the team plays it doesn't really matter and I have never had a problem with this card because his 90 defense means his positioning is so accurate all the time he seems to be in the right spot overall I cannot fault him so while he isn't the quickest it's never been an issue for me and I actually really enjoy using this card and would really highly recommend it because for me it's been right up there with some of the best defenders I've used in the game. So don't be put off by that 40 pace because really it is not an issue at all. Uh, a left back now very similar to um, Dani Alves. We have Alexandro. Great going forward, great in defence, gets up and down well, a really solid player and complements that back four very, very well. And that pace does help to cover Fazio just in the odd moments where maybe someone does get round him. He has got those other quicker defenders to help him out in those situations. Now, in the midfield, we're going to put them all in now and we're going to start off with De Rossi. Obviously, you could not have a uh, totty team without De Rossi. Then we're going to go uh, Bilia, Biglia? Uh, I think it's Bilia. I think the G's may be silent, but uh, let me know in the comments below if I have got that right or wrong. But we're going to start off talking about Daniele De Rossi and his Inform 85 rated card. This card is fantastic. So well-rounded, as is a theme with this midfield. And that really does set the groundwork for this team. 
This guy also, you know, similar to, to Totti, you know, one club man, really Roma through and through. And what a fantastic player to have in the team because he is so good in that defensive role. You know, 86 defense is phenomenal with 85 physicality. No one gets past him. He's got decent pace at 71, especially with the uh, Catalyst card on there. Really does help him out. His passing's very good. Shooting's not, you know, nothing to brag about, but it's okay. Something that you will notice with these guys are, you know, they don't really get forward in this uh, team the way it's set up. They really do just provide a screen in front of the back four to then allow the attacking three to play. It's a very counter-attacking style, but it seems to work very, very well and also really does shut people out very good indeed. So De Rossi does that uh, very, very good indeed, as does uh, Biglia or Bilia. You know, great stats. Passing is superb on this card. 90 rated, which is phenomenal. 85 dribbling, so confident and comfortable on the ball. His shooting and pace are quite decent as well, but he also has that high defense high physicality, and also Nyan Golan does, you know, 81 defense, 84 physicality, and then he's got the really decent dribbling and passing and very nice pace and shooting, just meaning that all of these guys, no matter where they find themselves on the pitch, they are going to do a good job, and it just allows you to have that versatility in your midfield, and it seems to work very, very well, but they don't really get forward much, which is why I haven't included any goals for any of them, because they really just, you know, pass the ball. They win it and they pass it to these guys who deliver time and time and again. At Cam, we have got Inform Gomez. Now, again, there are other versions of this card which, you know, are phenomenal. But this one does the job. So if you are looking to save a little bit of coinage, this is the guy to go for. Because he's fantastic. 91 pace, 80 shooting. Obviously, I've got the uh, dead eye on him there. So it's even better. 83 passing, very, very good. 90 dribbling, just goes with that pace so damn well. In attacking areas, this guy is brilliant. And his role plays a massive part for Totti. He gets the ball first off the midfield time and time and again, plays a little one-two with Totti and allows Totti to give and go. And it just works very, very well, meaning that he will do a lot of the running to save Totti's legs, which is always really good considering his stamina. So a very good player. And uh, complementing the team now, we have uh, Icardi and we will go ahead and put Totti in. But we'll talk about Icardi first. Now, 94, team of the season, Akadi. This guy is ridiculous. Again, you could save a bit of money and put in one of his inform cards. I would recommend his fourth or third inform because those are really, really good and relatively well priced. But this one's just a bit of a luxury. You know, like I said, in those attacking areas, you need these three to be supremely good, and they are. Akadi is really good in the air. He's got great long shots, very similar to Totti in a lot of ways but just a great card that delivers tons of goals and is very fun to use with his amazing dribbling, his great strength, his passing is right up there, and then obviously his shooting and his pace. We move on now to the man of the moment and the guy that this team is all about, let's be honest, 96 rated end of an era Totti. This card is so damn special and it plays so well indeed. His pace is lovely at 89. Very, very good. Obviously got the Hunter card on him just to uh, to give that more of a boost to bring his sprint speed and acceleration in line a little bit. And that seems to work very, very well. The amount of times where you play a little cheeky through ball or chip through ball into him and he will get on the end of it because he has got the pace now. His shooting when he does get on the end of it is ridiculous. And even if he doesn't quite make it into the box and, he, and you feel like the defenders are on top of him, he can just let off a shot from anywhere because his long shots and shot power are so damn good. He is a very, very clinical, can score all types of goals from absolutely any angles, just making him a really, really fun player to use. And in this team, it just seems to complement him very, very well because he doesn't have to do too much running apart from in that final third. So it means that he doesn't have to worry about defending because he's got that really strong base of midfielders and defenders doing all of that for him 
give the ball to Gomez or Ricardi, who will then play this guy in, you know, and vice versa. He will definitely get some assists as well. But overall, the team just complements Totti, and Totti complements the team very, very well. I've had a lot of fun using this team, and I think you guys will too. So again, let me know if you do think it could be better, but I will run through uh, the player instructions on the guys now. So I do have stay central and get him behind on Totti because I don't want him, you know, on the wing. He's not that sort of player and I don't want to kill his legs. So this sort of helps him. Also conservative interceptions, again, just helping to uh, to keep his uh, fitness in the right sort of place. Just get him behind on a cardi. Don't mind if he drifts wide a little bit to help out now and then, but he, he tends to stay central. Stay forward for Gomez because he doesn't need to come back and defend. I've got three really solid uh, central midfielders in there to do that job and uh, get into the box for crosses because I do want him in there to score some goals. Stay back while attacking on Bilia and uh, that's about it to be honest. Nothing really else on anyone else. And uh, we'll just have a look at the custom tactics now. And as you can see, we have a speed of 55, passing there at 60, organised positioning, passing there again, 65, crossing quite low at 35, obviously we know wingers, shooting high there at 70, organised positioning, pressure at 45, aggression at 50. You know, we've got some very aggressive high defence sort of players in there. So that's why that is at 50. Team with their low at 30 and defensive line of cover. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I hope you find this team as good as I did. Leave any suggestions for improvements in the comments below and let me know if you guys have used this card, if you've used End of Era Totti. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'll be really interested to hear what you guys think. Hit the like and subscribe as well, and peace.